This is one more lesson for page 1079 in the fourth edition math. And this time I want to look at pages 36 and take it all the way to the end. And I'm going to teach you a quick method that I like to use with my students when we're dealing with uh, percents and uh, solving problems that involve percent. And if we memorize this ratio, percent over 100 equals is over of. And I get my students to kind of chant it with me. Percent over 100 equals is over of. Percent over 100 equals is over of. And just re keep repeating it, repeating it until it's ringing in our heads. Percent over 100 equals is over of. Because once we have a ratio, ratios are really easy to solve. I'm going to just make one up here. Let's say I have two-fifths. This is just numbers. This isn't a percent problem. Two-fifths, and I know that this number down here is 20, and I want to figure out what that number is. Now, you might know that 5 times 4 is 20, so 2 times 4 is 8. But the ratio method makes it really easy. We cross-multiply, so the number I'm solving for, the missing, you take the other two numbers that are kitty corner from each other and you multiply them together, okay? So 2 times 20, and then we'll take that answer and divide by 5. Well, 2 times 20 is 40. 40 divided by 5 is 8, all right? So we can just sometimes real quickly do it in our head. 2 times 20 is 40. 40 divided by 5 is 8. <clears throat> Now I want you to see how we do that with a percent problem. So here's a story problem. 20% of $40 is what number? So we always leave the 100 on the bottom. Put 20 over 100 equals is, and that's what we don't know, over the of, the 40. All right? So now we're going to cross multiply. 40 times 20 is 800. 800 divided by 100 is 8. So the answer for that one is 8. Let's try this next one. 25%. So we'll do 25 over 100. Of what number? So the bottom is the one I don't know. Of what number is 12? So I'll put the 12 up here on the top. All right, so now when I cross multiply, I'll take 100 times 12. 12 times 100 is 1,200. And then when I divide by 25, I get 48. And I'm not going to waste time on the video to do all the long math for you, but that's what it would work out to be. You can check my answer on that if you'd like. All right, now I'm going to figure out the missing percent. So WP over 100 equals what percent of 20 is 5. So of 20 goes down here, 5 goes on the top, all right? And then I would cross multiply 5 times 100, which would be 500, and divide by 20, and the answer would work out to be um, why did I just have brain freeze? 5 over 20, 25%. Okay. <laughs> so 25% would be the same. All right. So this method works. And that if you just stick with this one method, memorize percent over 100 equals is over of, percent over 100 equals is over of, take whatever problem they give you, plug it into the ratio, Anytime you have a ratio, whatever number is missing, cross multiply the two numbers that are across from each other, kitty corner, divide by the other corner. See how I did that each time? Cross multiply, divide by this one. Down here, I'm solving for this one, so I cross multiply, divide by this corner, and you have the answer. It works every time, which is another thing I love about ratios and about math. If you find one method that works all the time, why try to teach yourself seven different ways to do it? Stick with the one that works and works the easiest. So I think this method will uh, be helpful to you and uh, make this whole section easier.